Hello, everybody. This is the Shabransky Advocate, where you get all the truth information about Shabransky and all other Eastern European fighters, the victims, the victims of HBO, Showtime, the victims of Box, you know, Nation, Sky Sports, the victims the Eastern Europeans are. The victims of the American press, of the UK press, and of the West. The problem with, especially Americans, is that they think they're better than everybody. And they believe they're superior to everybody. The, but the problem is, not that they think that, but that they're wrong. Everybody knows that the Eastern European fighter is the best. The, the best point. I, there's no need to even argue. It. Everybody just knows it's true. The Eastern Europeans are the ones that should run, as the Americans say, this shit. But the Americans have a lot of control. Now, let me ask you this. When you look at boxing scene and, and when, when you look at ESPN, forward slash boxing, Fox Sports 1, Dan Raphael, Kevin Ioli, Yahoo Sports, the New York Times, it doesn't matter. Has anyone in the fake media Uncover to you the truth about Andre Ward's retirement. You've heard that he retired, but have you noticed something strange? Don't you think it's kind of weird that Andre Ward just retired out of nowhere? <laughs> You're a fool. You're a fool if that's what you believe. Shibransky is a short version as to why that one word Shibransky is a short version of the story as to why Andre Ward retired but let me go ahead and break it down for all the idiots that don't understand why first of all you have to understand the undisputed obvious evidence that Shibransky was getting ducked by Andre Ward Okay, before. First of all, he picked Alexander Brand instead of Shibransky. And we have evidence of Shibransky knocking down Alexander Brand. It's like a 14-minute clip. 14 second, I'm sorry. He knocks him down. And... Embarrasses does to Alexander Brand in 14 seconds what Andre Ward couldn't do in an entire fight. He knocks him down with bigger gloves and headgear on, showing that he's superior to Andre Ward. That is undisputed, undeniable evidence. So we know he ducked him for that. Let's take it a step further. Before that, he could have fought him, but instead he fought Barrera. He decided to fight Barrera. Instead of Shabransky, undisputed evidence, ducked him. It, it goes without question. Now, I know what people are going to say, but Barrera beat. You see, this is where the Shabransky haters get it wrong. Oh, but, but Barrera knocked him down. No, no, no. He didn't knock him out. Shabransky. See, they don't tell you the whole truth and it unravels everything. Just like they did to Kovalev during the drug testing that they've been forcing on Eastern Europeans because drug testing is an American conspiracy. They inject substances that weaken the Eastern European fighter Thus, they don't perform as well as they do when they're not tested. You see, look at the undeniable evidence. What else can it be? 
When they're not tested, they look unbelievable. When they're tested, and I'm not sure, I haven't really looked up whether or not, but but it's it's I'm assuming they were because it's obvious that they were tested in in the Pareda fight. Every time they're tested, something some bogus reason to cancel the fight or or, or like they get through the through the testing, but they obviously don't look as strong and as dominant as they used to look. So anyway, they caught up to this. I remember when PP, when Precise Presenter broke it down. And ever since Precise Presenter made the video about them weakening Kovalev with his substance, notice the correlation that Andre Ward all of a sudden retired. Now we know. Now that they cut on to this substance to weaken the Eastern European fighter, all of a sudden he got out of Dodge and the Eastern Europeans own Dodge. At least I think we caught up to what the fuck they're doing. We caught on to this American conspiracy. I know you're trying to weaken the Eastern European fighters. They're trying to weaken Chibransky. That's why Andre Ward retired. Isn't it weird that he just retired out of nowhere? Isn't it weird that, that he retired and then they're doing Chibransky versus Kovalev? Now that the Eastern European fighter has caught on to what they're doing, they're having the two top Eastern Europeans fight each other. Oh, what a damn coincidence. Beat each other up. And when there's nothing left, Andre Ward will come back and pick up the bones. This is what they're doing. Shabransky is a victim. He was weakened before the Barrera fight. It is obvious. That's why he didn't look as good as he did in other fights. The evidence is there. Just watch him. He doesn't look that good in that fight. What do you think? Because it weakened him. The same with Kovalev. They weakened him. Before he got in the fight with Ward. They caught on to it. And now they're punishing them. Because they want to hold that power. Because they know, they know that if they fight. Legitimately. With honor. With no needles. Being poked in their. Precious bodies. Poking needles. And something sacred like your body. Invading their privacy like that. It's an invasion of privacy. But, but you know why they you know what they say? This is what the Americans say about testing. Oh. But you got to test cuz you don't ever know. Well, that's cuz you Americans are used to lying all the time. Eastern Europeans don't lie. If an Eastern European says, "I'm not cheating." Trust me, they mean it. But, but I know, it's a concept that Americans don't understand because Americans are notorious liars. So they project their lying onto others. Shabransky could be the greatest fighter ever, but they are sabotaging his career. This great Eastern European man that could have monuments named after him. Statues. They can have statues, bronze, silver, gold statues of, of Shabransky all over Eastern Europe. He could be a hero for many kids in America. He could be a he could actually be a good role model. Teaching kids not to lie. Teaching kids that twerking is wrong. Teaching kids that it's okay to be Eastern European. But America doesn't want that. They want to hold Shabransky back. They want to weaken him. They want to insert needles. They're dirty needles into the sacred Eastern European skin. These dirty, these USADA and VADA with their dirty needles. Trying to weaken the Eastern Europeans. But even then, look, we're still winning world titles. Because we're that good. 
And they want to use dumb things like, oh, well, we don't know if you're cheating. What if you're lying? That's because you Americans are used to lying because you're a bunch of liars. Shipransky, the great. Ain't nobody better than Shabransky. Shabransky is the best. Oh, Shabransky. Shabransky is the best. Oh, picture a stadium singing this. Picture it. It would be beautiful. Instead of making the keeping sport pure. They want to stick needles, dirty needles, into the sacred bodies of fighters. Just because their fighters are a bunch of liars that try to cheat all the time. They're the ones that have made it unpure. So that's why we're dealing with dirty, stinking needles. Deontay Wilder with his dirty needles, poking and poking and poking Paul Vlatland. And even when he did it, they still, oh, oh you, you got a bad substance on you. All of a sudden, he didn't want to fight. Shabransky. Shabransky is the best. Shabransky is the best. Oh. oh, oh. Well, there you go. Anyway, that's all I got to say. That is a Shabransky song. This is his advocate. You, you've uncovered the truth. I've told you the truth. If you refuse to deny it, or you refuse to accept it, that is, then it's on you. You can no longer say you didn't know. I've given you the information. The advocate of Shabransky signing out. Shabransky is the best. Shabransky is the best.